doing a waiting on a few parts for it. So while we're doing that, basically we're gonna do a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and right now we're just gonna start out with doing a external fuel system on the cart. <clears throat> so basically we're gonna get rid of this tank for a tank that'll sit right here. Seat's not mounted in. Um, did some work on some seat mounts and this one actually broke off. This was on the cart, like welded on and it snapped because of all the rust. So ordering a replacement for that. So because that won't be in for a couple days, figured why not just go ahead and start doing some mods to it while we can't drive it. If you've also noticed my intake uh, is also like really close to my tire like whenever I'm drifting and stuff because of the PVC like extends it. So basically what I've done is I've taken the stock intake, drilled some holes in it so we got a little bit more airflow and especially with this gas tank gone, um, you know we'll have more direct airflow into it. Deleting this and putting an external like fuel system will be a lot nicer setup. I have all the stuff from Go Power Sports, so we're gonna go ahead and get all that out to get this started. Essentially for this kit, we have this top plate assembly from Go Power Sports that'll get rid of our throttle right here and uh, our fuel tank. So we're getting rid of a lot of stuff by just doing this small kit right here. So when you do that kit, you have to get a fuel pump to have right here. Ah, ah, ah. So you gotta get one of these boys. Um, so this will be what you'll be running on top of that plate, nice and neat. And then once you have that, okay, so basically how the whole system works, you put a breather into your valve cover. That way you can run a line from that breather to your fuel pump. And basically it's pulse driven, so it'll, as it pulses, it'll feed fuel through the pump into your carb uh, from the tank. So basically, I guess just to start this, um, I already have a tank, it's right there. I gotta clean it. So we won't be officially like starting it today, but uh, we'll go ahead and start by taking this off and seeing how the whole assembly will work out. All right, so I just got off the gas tank sitting right there and I also got off the old throttle so basically this is what it looks like before I bolt it up I want to clean all the grime that's in here um, just so it looks a little bit nicer it's pretty gross so once I do that come back and I'll show you guys how the plate bolts on and then we'll probably we'll be getting rid of this too so that'll be a lot nicer So quick update with where I am so far. Basically, because this is meant for like newer predators, um, these little like feet are normally like angled a little bit more up. But because mine are flat, I had to bend down uh, the bar a little bit. You can see it's a little bent. But I ended up getting the bolt in there and then I tightened down this, which is um, to support the throttle cable. And then bolted it up here with the bolt that they gave us. Um, and then this will be up like that and get pulled with the throttle and then have a nice spring uh, so then it gets a good retraction. So, and then after that, the this should be able to just bolt up somewhere like, like, like right there. Get the throttle all linked up so, and then we'll put the gas tank in and probably run a few lines and should be good to go. All right, quick update on where I'm at so far. So basically, 
got the new valve cover on that has the um, the fitting which goes to the pump that I have bolted down then I got the throttle all linked up so I just got to run the cable from the old setup oh gosh I almost fell from the old setup so that won't be hard and then um, and then basically just need a fuel line from here the fitting on the carb to here and then let's see what else oh so because this one came with the OEM like extra thing or like you know another um, escape for the valve cover I put it back to the stock intake since I'm running that for more clearance and yeah it looks good um, now I'm actually gonna clean the gas tank so I can get that in place because I feel like that'll be a little bit nicer and a little just I have time so might as well just get it done so I haven't opened this thing in I don't know since I first got the cart so this thing probably smells horrendous and just super toxic just probably not good to breathe it's, just, oh, it's so bad I don't know if you guys can see it I'm going to try to get on camera for you guys, but it's so disgusting in there. Alright guys, so I got the tank all clean, doesn't look like it from the outside, but I swear it's clean on the inside. So, all that gunk we had before, um, mostly it's just like the outside just looks really dirty and gross. So, honestly, um, I might paint it or I might just like sticker bomb the entire thing to make it look a lot better. So, we'll see what I do because this stale yellow or like faded, you know, container just does not look good when it'll be sitting right there. So. We gotta definitely do something about that. Sorry if I have not filmed a lot of this really well. So, essentially, um, I got it all hooked up. Put this spring, which does not come in the kit, but I put it on here anyways for better like retraction on the throttle. Um, so yeah, that spring will be really nice to bring it back to idle. And then basically, I showed you that we did the fuel pump, uh, got this on, and basically took this cable um, from Jeffrey's old go-kart. Uh, we still had his throttle body, so I took it off that, and it works really nice because it fits in here. And then we have it wrapped down, coming along the side of the frame, and then hooks, and it's nice and tight. I mean, it's a little loose, but like, you don't want it to be too tight. So, um, now we have that. Uh, basically, I was figuring out a route for how we're gonna feed the carb. And basically, I have my line, it's all done up, comes over, and instead of, the old line used to come um, like down under this right here, but I'm gonna have it go under and then have it come underneath this plate and then i'm gonna have uh two 90s that come from the fuel pump and connect it with this line um the reason why it's so short and i don't have like a just a straight connection to it is because um i thought this was like the output so then i was just gonna have the line feed to there Sia is like perfectly cut for that, but um, as a compression, like I just pulled the pull start and um, we had compression coming out of this end. So now we have to make uh, this route around and then do a full 180 to hook underneath this plate and then go to our carb and then this will run to the fuel tank when I sticker it up. Eden. We'll hook up the lines and then we'll take it first first rip so um so far it's looking really really good and i'm super happy with it um so yeah we just need to wrap up a few more things just get the 290s um 
for this line and then what I've decided to do is actually if you made it this far in the video I'll tell you what we're gonna be doing what I've been holding off for for a really long time now and in the next video is what we're gonna be doing this is when we're gonna be doing this but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and reveal it to you guys anyway uh, the reason why I'm not like fully hooking up uh, the fuel system and driving it today um, I mean besides the seat um, this is the main reason why it's gonna be a second part to the fuel system video and hold on I'm just gonna pull it out of the box really quick the reason why we're not doing it today is because we're gonna be installing a fuel cooler um, which is like I know like to a lot of you might be like wait what the heck like a fuel cooler but this is gonna be part of the fuel system um, because we want because like the more dense well I, I, I can explain in another video but essentially we're gonna be running this in the next video and if you're wondering where it's gonna sit most people would run it like right there but for like you know like uh, a coolant run engine but I'm gonna put it right here and it's gonna look so cool so it's gonna be we're gonna have it mounted up right here just like that but we're gonna have it flipped like this for those fuel lines and yeah we'll just add a couple mounting brackets and run the lines and we'll be good to go this thing will be sick perfect direction for the the fuel pump to be aiming this way because we'll have a line that just runs straight to this and if you're wondering the the fitting size on this is uh it's bigger than what we have on our fuel system here but essentially if we have like the same input into this uh, cooler and then same output we won't be starving the engine of fuel we'll have even the same out or like um, same flow it'll just be like almost like a second reservoir of fuel um, that's just being cooled for the engine for more power so that's what we're going to be doing and I basically just have to cut the rest of this throttle cable basically there's a lot of parts for the go-karts and for the cars in here and I've been telling you guys that we have a lot of things coming and this is the start of it especially like this is started for, for the go-kart we have stuff for the volvos don't you worry we got that part that for the that box for the volvos we got that box for the volvos this one's actually for the go-kart this one's for the go-kart that one's for the volvos that piece is for the volvo uh we got go-kart parts go-kart parts we have a lot of parts in store for all the projects we have and uh and just couldn't be more excited so I really hope you guys stay tuned. This is the start of something huge, and no one's actually ever done this, a fuel-cooled go-kart. Um, I can explain more. I've done all the research on it, so, you know, we'll we'll be all set to go, and it's going to be looking so cool, and hopefully it's efficient. I don't know, like, how efficient it is because there's no one that's tested this yet, but, um, you know, hopefully we can get, you know, more efficiency from a fuel cooled go-kart um just having you know just the having that should uh enhance the power hopefully and this is the only place you're going to see it so be sure to subscribe like comment and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace